Hello, my name is Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy, and you are watching the sample video explaining the actual video, Telling Time. Oh. This is the first step in teaching a student how to read time on an analog clock. This is telling time to the hour. So all of our times are going to end in o'clock. I'm not even using the terms hour hand or minute hand. Um, I'm not saying long or short. Instead, I'm using the easier terms big hand and small hand. Uh, if the student you're working with doesn't know the difference between big and small, Hopefully that'll be a ancillary benefit of this video. Time, 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 telling time. Small hand on the four. Small hand on the four. Big the song and the accompanying video are very repetitive. And that's one of the benefits of music is to make something repetitive more enjoyable or at least a little more tolerable. Um, I've tried to add uh, something a little extra in the background as the music progresses some instruments rise up um, in volume so as we progress we start to hear more trumpets uh, French horns tuba harp and flute just to add some variety and keep those kids interested in the song. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Time, 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 telling time. If you've been paying attention so far, You'll notice we started at 1 o'clock, then did 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, etc. And we're going in order all the way to 12 o'clock. If your student or class catches on to this pattern, there is another video that's included with the download that goes small hand up, right, down, left. So it starts at 12 o'clock, then it goes to 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock then moves over an hour to one o'clock and skips by three hour increments again one o'clock four o'clock seven o'clock ten o'clock then starts on two o'clock and again skips by three hour increments two o'clock five o'clock eight o'clock eleven o'clock so it covers all the same times just in a different order So now that you've been practicing for a while, you need to check and see if your student understands the concept. So you don't want a video that tells them and shows them the answer. So in addition to the two videos I talked about before, there are two additional videos that are fill in the blanks that look like this. So there you saw the printed answer was removed and the vocal track that was singing the answer was removed. In addition to the four videos, there are five songs included with the download. These include the times in order, the times in order with the answers removed, uh, the times mixed up, the times mixed up with the answers removed and an instrumental version where you can create whatever order of times you like. Time, 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 telling time. Small hand on the ten. Small hand on the ten. I found the zooming motion in the video very helpful in getting kids to focus on the number they're supposed to and even to getting them to point to the numbers. Um, but if you'd like to use the song version instead, there are eight different printouts that come with the download. And I will show them to you now. 
Um, when a kid is first learning time, they're not going to understand that one colon zero zero means one o'clock. So that's what some of these visuals are. Um, if you have a child who is reading, there's a text version that says one o'clock written out. There's a number version and there is a fill in the blank version that you can use as a worksheet. Uh, you can also cut these up and make these into flashcards. There is also a blank clock. There's a page of 12 small ones and one page with one big one. If you would like to challenge your kids to draw in the hands of the clock. Once again, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy. This was Telling Time. Thank you for watching. Time, time.